Good morning. In the gospel today, Jesus says to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belonged to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. I don't think it's always completely clear what it means to be in the world, but not of the world. To live our lives, but to live it as lives of faith and not lives of the world, you know. Um, and I, I'm always a little nervous about getting too personal in homilies, but I thought I might read um, just a little section out of my journal. Um, and it talks about the eyes of the world and the eyes of faith, you know. And I offer it to you, uh, hopefully it'll be helpful. Lord, when I look at your image on the cross, I don't see failure, I see victory. I see, quote, what the world sees as failure, unquote. Why? Because I've been taught to look at the crucifix with the eyes of faith and not the eyes of the world. I need to learn to look at my own life with the eyes of faith. For example, I say, I've not done anything with my life. I've not made anything of myself. You know, I don't have a house. I don't have a big bank account. I don't, et cetera, et cetera. These are the world's terms, the world's words, and the world's concepts. Sometimes I think my parishioners make more of my priesthood than I do. I say, I never finished my doctorate. I didn't go very far as a singer. Um, even about my priesthood, sometimes I say, look how late I was ordained, how old I was. I'll never be a bishop. I could never have been, vic you know, or I could have been this or that, or I'll never even be a Monsignor. Now, please understand me. I don't say this all the time, but occasionally these thoughts pop, pop into my head, you know. But my parishioners say, you are a priest. You are our pastor. You have helped me grow. Lord, help me lose my worldly sight and gain eyes of faith. So partly I think what would help us to know um, whether we're living of the world and not just in it, you know, whether we're, uh, is to look at things specifically and, and consciously. Like, what would Jesus say about this, you know? Um, what would Jesus say about a promotion, you know? There's nothing evil about a promotion, but is is, is it Jesus who wants me to get a promotion or, or, or use it somehow for... Or is it my own personal ambition? I remember when I was praying about whether or not to buy a new car, one day I was driving down the street and this voice you know, said some or an idea in my head, you know, your, your life won't be any better or worse with a new car. And I thought, well, I wasn't even thinking about that, but it's true. A new car is just that, a new car. A job is just that, it's a job. A house is a house, you know. But to look at these things with the eyes of faith, like what would Jesus say about that? Or what part does that have to play in the whole idea of either the world's salvation history or my own salvation history, you know? And then finally, there was one last thought that I tagged on to that. Also, 
It is not what I have made of my life that is important, but what God has made of my life, what I have let God make of my life, what I've allowed God to do with my life. I don't know if that would help at all in your thinking about um, living in the world, <laughs> but not of it, living with worldly values, etc. But I hope so. And just remember, it, these are words, you know. I called you, I have chosen you out of the world. We don't belong to the world. We belong to Jesus. And his opinion of our lives is really the only opinion that matters. God bless you.